short play or part of this play festival that Jordi and I um, curates in LA. Basically frustrated screenwriters who don't get to see their work materialize in any way. Uh, developing um, and directing plays that go up for a couple months in the spring of every year. So this was a short play that my writing partner Joni and I developed and um, it was well received and we decided to expand it into a feature script and with the help of the Sundance Writers Lab and then ultimately the Producers Lab we were, got to see it come to fruition and, and made the film a couple years ago. I mean it's a female friendship comedy about two best friends growing up at different paces. Um, and I like to say that it's a romantic comedy about two best friends and what happens as you grow older and approach 30 and your friends become your family and a romantic partner enters into that relationship and how does a life partnership change when a romantic partner enters the picture? Uh, Joni and I have been writing partners and close friends for 12 years now, which is terrifying. Um, and you know, we've always written semi-autobiographical stories about female friendships and been fascinated about um, sort of how like close and codependent yet subtly toxic and passive aggressive and competitive friendships between women can be. So we always try to draw from our own observations of ourselves but also of our friends. And so there's always a lot of us and a lot of um, also skewering of the people that we um, meet and date and befriend in our lives too. So. I would say it's it's pretty autobiographical, but we always try to change enough details about the characters so they feel like they're actual characters that are three-dimensional and not just sort of um, versions of ourselves. Uh, in this case, um, you know, as Jordana was saying, it's a, it's a friendship story between a gay woman and a straight woman, and the straight woman partners up with a man, and that sort of throws their super close friendship into turmoil. And in the case of Joni and me, Joni's the lesbian and she's also the married one. So, you know, we tried to sort of mix and match those qualities and, and come up with like the most authentic versions of the characters for this particular story. But obviously a lot is drawn from our lives too. A lot of Joni's checkered dating past is Yeah, manifest. I think a lot of the <laughs> characters that are like the secondary characters that, that um, Sasha's character dates are people that Joni has actually dated. So she was definitely... A little nervous when it went out into the world. Yeah, I mean, basically, with something like this, the chemistry between the two leads is is all important. You're basically you're basically casting like a romantic a romantic movie um, without the the sex. So you need to find two actresses who can convince you that they are really close and can finish each other's sentences. But of course, when you're casting, like most of these actors don't know each other, and you're sort of meeting each of them for like an awkward hour long coffee and trying to figure out if they would get along with the other people that you met for awkward coffees. So it's always a leap of faith. In this case, um, both Leighton and Gillian were so kind of down to earth and not actressy that we we knew they would have the best shot possible of, of clicking in person. And we were lucky enough that when we got to the table read and saw that they were just instantly in a rhythm with each other, we were relieved and it worked out well. But it's always a little scary. You just don't know. I mean, if, if the chemistry between them hadn't worked, I think the movie wouldn't have wouldn't have worked either and that would have been terrifying. We've had we've had some intoxicated people before in Q and A um, that we've had to, you know, manage. We've had right, what you say? Yeah, usually me. I'm usually the intoxicated She's yeah. one. Always intoxicated. Having to manage me is so really I awkward have for to manage her. Jordana. It yeah. is really um, producing. Yeah. yeah. Producing. Intoxicated. Um, for the most part, I, I was actually a little bit scared going into like our premiere at Tribeca that um, because you know I'm the director and although Joni's is mm. a lesbian, like I'm not, so I was afraid that sort of making a movie that a lot of people talk about as like an LGBT movie would be that that I would be under fire for being like a straight woman writing this comedy and directing this comedy that satirizes a lot of like the lesbian world. So I was actually really kind of afraid that some of the questions would be critical or hostile or just accusing me of not really having the right to do that. Um, and I found the opposite to be true, which is that people seem really excited to just be represented and sort of to have a movie that's like about, you know, a lesbian, but it's not about the fact that she's gay and it's not a story about her sexuality and it's not like a, a niche queer film. It's like a, hopefully a, you know, more of a universal story. So 
Yeah, it's I been think more in the Q and A's too. There are a lot of people, and I do think that that Joni gives some validity to it as well. But there are people that ask why Sasha is more stunted, um, and why she's the one that doesn't, you know, know what she's doing in her career and and kind of growing up a little bit at a slower pace. Um, and I know Joni always has a really good answer to that that we echo <laughs> often in Q and A's, but preface by saying this is, you know, why why Joni felt it was important for that. Yeah, I mean Joni, you know, drew a lot of Sasha's um, characteristics from her own experience. And one of the things that's important to the character is that as Joni always talks about, like coming out later in life, you sort of end up having these adolescent experiences in your twenties. Um, because you just sort of didn't get started dating and having relationships until your 20s. So um, we wanted Sasha to be a, a woman who's making the mistakes that sort of Paige probably made 10 years before or, or five years before. And for that reason, it felt like it was really intrinsic to the character. But yeah, we do face sort of why can't she be the mature, well-adjusted one? Why does it have to be the straight girl? Right. Um, right.